Hello, because right now it's grilling season, I want to show you how to make my sourdough bread in my Weber grill. So, here we go! Because it is grilling season, today I want to share with you an alternative to baking your bread in the conventional oven, which is baking your bread in the grill. Many bakers prefer to stop baking in their conventional oven during the spring and summer because of the high temperatures outside and to keep their homes cooler. So today I will show you how I bake my sourdough bread in my grill and I will use all-purpose flour because that is all I have. Due to the quarantine, the supply of bread flour in my area has been very poor. Start mixing 880 grams or 7 cups of all-purpose flour with 120 grams or 3 quarters of cups of whole wheat flour. Add 780 grams of 3.3 cups of water and mix with a dough whisk until all the ingredients are well combined. This will be a high hydration bread with all-purpose flour. If you prefer to make a bread with less hydration for easier shaping, I recommend you use only 730 grams or 3 cups of water instead. Cover with a towel and let the dough rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, add 200 grams or 3 quarters of a cup of sourdough starter. And 20 grams or 1 tablespoon of salt. Mix with your dough whisk. Then use your hands to knead for about 2 minutes inside of your bowl until all the ingredients are well combined. Cover the dough and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Start a series of stretch and folds every 30 minutes. Stretch and fold every time to add tension to your dough. After the third stretch and fold, cover the dough with a towel and let it rest for two hours. Take the dough out of the bowl and divide it in two. You can use a scale, but today I'm just gonna eyeball it. Reshape the dough by pulling it and folding it to make a bowl. You can use some flour to dust the working table and your dough. Cover with a towel and let rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, do the final shape. Stretch the dough into a bowl. Then rotate the bowl, seam side down. Flour your hands and rotate the dough to add tension to your dough. Take a bench scraper and transfer to a bread basket seam side up. Dust your dough with flour and repeat the same process with the other bowl of dough.
covered the bread baskets with a towel and placed it in the fridge overnight. For a more detailed video on how to make a sourdough bread and bake it in the conventional oven, click on the link at the top of the screen. The next morning, prepare your grill to bake your bread. I am using my 22 inch Weber Master Touch kettle today. Fill a chimney with charcoal briquettes and light it up. Wait 15 minutes until the charcoal briquettes light up. I am using the charcoal baskets on each side for indirect heat. Fill the charcoal baskets with the hot briquettes and put the cooking grate on top. I am adding a couple of wood chunks to the charcoal baskets to help the temperature of my grill increase. Preheat your Dutch oven in the middle of the grill. Today I'm using a Lodge combo cooker. You can see in detail all the equipment that I'm using in the description of this video. Close the lid of the grill, let the grill come to temperature. You want to reach a temperature of about 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 Celsius. Open the air vents all the way to help your grill reach the high temperatures. After 15 minutes of a steady 450 Fahrenheit temperature or 230 Celsius, take the Dutch oven out of the grill Escort your bread and place it in the Dutch oven. Place the Dutch oven back into the grill and cover it. Let it bake for about 20 minutes. Then, take the lid off of your Dutch oven, rotate the Dutch oven and cover the grill with the lid. Wait 30 to 40 minutes or until your bread is cold and brown. You will realize that your bread needs more time to bake in the grill than it usually does in your conventional oven. For the next bread, make sure to refill your charcoal baskets before you place your bread in. The next day, I tried to add more charcoal to my grill to experiment with a higher temperature. You can see that I created a ring of charcoals. And I got a good result too. My bread baked faster and it was easier to get a higher temperature. But the base of my bread was a little burnt. So be careful if you add more charcoal briquettes to your grill. I was able to still eat this last bread, however, I had to trim the base of the bread. In the end, I was very pleased with the results of my bread made with all-purpose flour in the grill. If you like to grill as much as I do, I know that you will enjoy grilling your bread too. I hope you can also experiment using your grill to make bread. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.